What's going on you guys? In this video, I'm gonna be talking about a secret technique that makes you 781% more attractive to women, and this is proven by science. So I'm gonna go over a study that proves this, but this is something that we've known in the dating game for a long time, okay? So guys who understand this, they do very well with women in conversations, and then guys who don't understand this, even if they might be in similar in terms of looks, you know, money, status, or whatever, if they don't understand this, they'll wonder why these guys do so much better with women, why their conversations seem to flow so much easier, and why the women are so much more interested in them continuously than those other persons are, even if the looks, status, and money, they're all equal, okay? So what was the study that proved this? Okay, well, the study was done at a college in Minnesota. I will read you the title right now. It was called Gain and Loss of Esteem as Determinants of Interpersonal Attractiveness. So basically, the laboratory experiment went like this. So co-eds were placed in a lab, and it was basically a place where they could eavesdrop on a conversation that was happening about them. Now, an evaluator would talk about the participant in the study, and they would talk about them in one of four ways. The first way was they would only say criticisms about them, they would only say negative things. The second way was they would say really positive things followed by negative things. The third way was they would only say positive things about them. And the fourth way is they would say negative things first, and they would gradually go into positive things. Now, one would assume that if they were only saying positive things, that would make the participant really like that evaluator, and they would say so afterwards. But what they actually found was the most liked evaluator was the evaluator that started with the negative first and gradually went into the positive. And the least liked was one who started with all the positive and then went negative. That performed even worse than if they were only negative. Now, what does this mean about dating? How does this apply to the secret technique I'm talking about? Well, it applies because men who walk up and only give compliments don't do as well as the men who are harder to win over. The people who started out as negative were perceived as being more honest. They were perceived as, hmm, not so sure about this person yet. But once they were gradually won over, that made the participants like that person so much more. So the way this works in the real world is if you walk up to a woman and you only say negative things, she's probably not gonna like you very much. If you walk up to her, and you start with positive and end with negative, that's actually the worst thing that you can do. If you walk up and you only give positive things, yes, she will like you, but typically there has to be something else involved. Like she has to be into your look, she has to be into your you know, status, she has to be into something. You have to already be attractive to her and then it'll work. But the guy who comes in and is like, hmm, not so sure about this one, and then is gradually won over, the woman feels better about herself. Now this was about this was about esteem. This was about esteem and attractiveness. If you win somebody over, somebody really didn't like you and then eventually now they like you. How much more accomplished do you feel about yourself? You feel way more accomplished than if they just liked you from the start and they were saying nice things all the way through. The other way where they're only shouting praise, I mean it's nice to hear, but it can sound fake. And women understand this too. Beautiful women especially, they are so used to hearing nonstop compliments all the time. But the guy that doesn't give them that at the beginning and is won over by seemingly something that has nothing to do with their looks, that person becomes special to them. They wanna hold on to that. They wanna hold on to that feeling they get because they get the most boost of self-esteem from that person. A huge factor when it comes to attraction with women is validation. If a man validates a woman too quickly, then she's good. She can go home, sleep like a baby. But if she has to work for it a little bit, if it's a challenge, she's gonna like that guy way, way more. So the next time you're walking up, don't be so easy. I'll give you a real example of the way it could work. You know, maybe you're at a party or something like that and you see a pretty girl. You can walk up to her and then you talk to her for a little bit and at a certain point in time during the conversation, you say, you know, I almost didn't come over here and talk to you, but I'm glad I did, right? You're showing how you were not so sure about her. Maybe you judged something about her. All right, you know, when I first heard about you, I thought you were just a party girl, but you're actually really interesting. Saying things like that, that's gonna pique her interest a little bit. She's gonna be like, huh, you know? That's not something an average guy would say. You won her over. Now, if you're someone who continuously gives compliments to women, you gotta hold back. Put yourself, in, in the evaluator's position. 
Don't let her be the one to just judge you all the time. That's what beautiful women do to men all the time. They sit back and they judge. And they're like, hmm. And in fact, you go for those women way more. The woman who just automatically is super into you right away, I bet you, you think they're okay. Well, she's not that hot, blah, blah, blah. But the women who are like hard at the beginning, they take a while to win over. You win them. You feel like the man. You feel like, oh man, dude, I got this. I got game. They play this game too. So you got to play the game as well. If a woman wants to feel like she's won, if she wants to feel important, you cannot just automatically give her praise or validation right from the get-go. She's got to earn that. That's what a high value guy does. But when I first started going out, I didn't understand this at all. Okay, I would just go up and I would just say random things and you know, I would give pe people way too many compliments and I didn't get a whole lot of success. And then I went through this process where I was just like basically talking shit to everybody that I met. And I surprisingly did better doing that than I did with doing the positive things and then getting mad when they weren't interested in me. And then after that, I started giving women compliments. I started just, you know, starting with the only the positive stuff, but that only worked if she was already into me. If she already liked my look or I was her type or I looked like her ex or, you know, maybe she, um, maybe one of her friends had like slept with me or something like that and she vicariously wanted to sleep through, w women are weird. Um, then that would work, okay? But if it didn't have any of those things, then it wouldn't work. What did work though, was when I walked up to a woman and I wasn't immediately impressed by her. And in fact, I saw this happen numerous times where a woman was hit on or talked to by a bunch of the people in my group and they all did the same thing. They all were immediately interested. They were all giving her compliments and I held back and I made her earn it. And after that, she was on my arm for the entire night. What you need to do is learn to be the evaluator. Learn to be the one who judges. And it doesn't start overnight. It starts by you doing this, you get better at it. Like with me, I didn't have the confidence to be able to do this right away. Okay, it took me time going out and you know really working on myself to do it. Okay, but what I did when it happened was now I realized, okay, now I understand the game. Now I have choice. And I know what you guys are thinking. A lot of you are thinking, okay, so now that I know how to act right away, how do I keep this around? Because I can't, if, I, if I'm always, playing this game every time I talk to her, like how is that going to be sustainable? It's sustainable in this. If you have the confidence to be able to walk away from a situation or a woman that doesn't serve you, you always have that power. You see, women don't want a guy who just sticks around no matter what. I know it sounds crazy to say, a lot of women want stability. They say they want security and all that stuff, but it kills desire. They want a guy who actually has options, who if he has to, if he needs to, will leave. Because then they feel accomplished, then they feel good that that man has chosen them and sticks around with them. Before when I got a beautiful woman, I would only be able to keep her around for a little bit because I understood this principle, but I wasn't living it. I wasn't embodying it. And so I would get her for a little bit. We'd, you know, probably maybe one night sometimes or like, you know, a couple weeks or something like that. Uh, and then she'd disappear, okay? Uh, but once I understood this, once I experienced a night with a woman, she would stick around because I maintained this. It was a part of who I am. And it became that much easier. I didn't have to think about this tactic or this secret technique because I would naturally do it because I had options, because I had confidence in myself, I knew that when I met a woman, she was gonna have to impress me in some way, shape, or form. And that's why guys who do well with women already do even better, because they understand this principle and they do it naturally, okay? So if you wanna start like me and start by understanding this first and then building it from that, that is also a tactic. I mean, I see this happen with guys in my program all the time. Um, for instance, there's a guy named Sean who I worked with a while ago, who when he first started working with me, it wasn't like he wasn't around beautiful women. Like he was around a lot of beautiful women. He was just getting friend zoned by all of them. Like none of them wanted to date him. But once he started learning this tactic, his perspective changed. And six months later, he messaged me this. He actually messaged me saying, now I try and decide whether this smoke show is worthy of being in my circle or not. And that is a super powerful statement. That's a statement of a high value man right there. And that's the kind of guy that women wanna get with. 
They don't want to get with a guy who just immediately wants them in their life. They want to get with a guy who chooses them to be in their life. So if you want to be that guy, if you want to be like Sean, click the link down below. The coaching application is right there. Fill it out. We'll see if you're a good fit. Thank you so much for watching, you guys. Use this technique for good. It doesn't just apply to dating. You can use it everywhere. But use it for good. I'll talk to you all later. Good luck out there.